Hi 30 Day Challenges, Caro here and welcome to another one of my videos. Today's topic is going to be on how to set up a Google group for yourself and your teammates. Now you can use a Google Groups for many different reasons. In this context, this is what we're recommending that you use it for. I've originally done a, um, or I've already done a video on Skype and setting up Skype and I've mentioned there that it's just a wonderful, wonderful tool or vehicle to communicate with your team. So too with Google Groups. It's like you can invite the members, so you can invite your team members and I'll take you all through that. And you invite them and you use that as basically your central hub to send out any correspondence. So it could be when the next meeting's on, it could involve a question. It's really just a very effective and efficient way to communicate with particular people that you're desiring to. But anyway, all that said, follow me and I'll show you how it's all done. It's very, very simple, I promise. Okay, so here we are at the Google page and I, all I did was type in Google Groups and I get this here. So here, so I've come to this page. Now I'm going to sign in and for the purposes of this video, I always wanted to say that, for the purposes of this video, I'm actually going to use our 30 day challenge um, Gmail address because we don't actually have a Google group set up in that. So I'll show you how it's done. So I've signed in. Now, just to backtrack, really recommend that you do get yourself a Gmail account if you don't have one already. You can certainly post on the forum asking for Gmail invitations. But generally what you do is you first of all set up you know, your, your Gmail account. So I'm signing in there. And it said, thinks I'm Ed, I could be Ed, I can be whoever you want me to be. And nickname, we're going to call it um, Ted Legend. Now I have a feeling that a photo of me may come up that's not Ed, but please do not get too panicky about that. So that's what I'm going to be called here, my nickname. Okay, so... I want to create a group. Name of the group is 30DC Test. So it's as simple as that. And this is a group for demonstration purposes only. Now here are the various options that you have. This group may pertain to da, 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 da. Um, no. Now I recommend that you do restricted. So that means for this purpose you want it to keep private. So it's going to be restricted and create my group. It's that hard. Oh, actually, no, it's a bit trickier because it's got one of these that sometimes aren't always clear. Okay, so it took me two goes of trying to work out what those letters were to get in. So what you can do is then you can add members. So all you do is you add um, their email addresses. So I might type in, you know, one of my own addresses. You, you list people one under the other and then it's like, hi there, Carrie here. I'd love for me to join my group. Okay, and then you sign it off. So you write whatever you want. So I invite members that way. So that's a group there. That's what it's called. Group email and invitation to one member. So visit our group. And this is where you can set it up. Now you see here, group owner Ed Dale, um, there. Now you can invite members here, discussion. So this is where I often go, we could do start a discussion topic here. And you simply do new post. And I could do subject, this is a test email for demonstration. I'm 
completely and utterly crazy here and then you just send that out now it's important to know that when you send out a message the best way to respond is actually to come back into the hub of the Google group so I just post that message and then I click here and then it tells me that from Ed that there's a test email here and so I can go and read them so you build up your list here so discussions here you can load up files there's pages you can create you can invite more members so really just enjoy yourself have a look around this group it's that simple and and really one of the main messages again is use it and it's just such an excellent communication tool so I really do recommend that you go about setting it up I also recommend or something that I've been taught is that everybody uses Gmail um, Gmail email addresses. It's not absolutely mandatory because we have people in some of our 30 day challenge um, behind the scenes groups that have not used a Gmail. It's just very easy and preferable. If you don't have a Gmail address at this stage, by all means just post on the forum. Uh, maybe we start a thread for that and it's very easy to send invites out to people. It's not a biggie. Um, I think actually for a lot of people now it's also called um, Google Mail. So it's either Gmail or Google Mail. So that's pretty much it. So I'll flash through to the final slide. And today, I thought I'd bring you Lucan, and Lucan can say hello to you. He got a little bit jealous that Rose got to um, speak to you all last time, so he's just run away now. But anyway, um, just a bit of light relief there towards the end. Very simple, Google Groups, go to it, set it up with your team. Just so you know, I am also going to be creating a video on Teams how to go about setting it up, the importance and everything like that. What you know for now is that Skype is a great tool to speak to your team and so are Google Groups. So that's it for me. I hope you're having a great day where whatever part of the world that you're in right now. Take care. Bye.